and we pick up where we left off. Limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's, it's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but he sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional? Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter, that's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. Up there. How the fuck am I going there? Up there. And yeah, the machine shop. It's quite obvious where it is. I'm um, just curious. I'm just curious if there's one thing that um, kind of happened. That the steel mill has been destroyed. Or torn down and now the place where they are the future team is if it's built on the same on the grounds of it you know like the old places where it was and now it's just a it still has something in it I don't know how to say it I don't know what I want to say even But basically the furnace and the, the face, the face of the Frank Stone that was casted into the ground or like pressed into the ground, maybe is a still uh, in there. But then I think it might be like a very stupid thing, but I believe the Linda would kind of know it or recognize the area I th think at least so what why do I need this what do I need this for I think okay I think I see Let's all praise Naughty Dog for popularizing green thing, yellow things, yellow weird things to mark the progress or to mark the path forward. I don't know what I did. I touched it. Examine. Yay. Oh, okay. Iridescent head. Oh, it's the scythe that we saw in the curiosity shop. Okay. Okay. I see. I see you again. So I don't have to find them in order. I thought that I need to find them in order. Okay. Team, follow me. We 
Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap, it is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article, it's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling trip. Oh. Sorry. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's Why would you even Come want on. to find bodies? Gotta be a way to get up there. Can we just leave? There's an exit. I love horror games, horror movies, books, basically everything horror related. It's awesome, it's very fun very often. But I would never want to find a body in real life. There is no appeal for in that for me. Okay, how did he go? How did... How did he get there? Should open the door, right? N no, when there's no electricity. Maybe there's something useful in there. A key? There is a key. And not much. See what Robert has found. Oh, it's a gener it's a generator. Hi, Robert. Broken. Looks like, yeah. Uh, let me take a look. <clears throat> hey, oh, can I ask you something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like... I don't know point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like, just us. So, I'm just in the way, then. Yeah, basically. He's not very aggressive, so impatient, maybe. All right, look, the truth is, all night, I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris, and it hasn't been easy. You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. It's not my fault she's more focused on her work than you, man. Give me a break. What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. I saw a key in there. Think it could be useful? Could be, yeah. Generator working? Nah, 
Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. I wonder if there's gonna be the same mini game as it is in the Dead by Daylight to make it work. Find the parts to repair generator. I know nothing about generators, so what kinds of parts are we looking this for? This might work with the generator. Mm, sure. Random bolt. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's not. It's just an item. Oh, I can talk to you. Find anything? We've still got to power up that door to get it open. How's that generator coming? Basically done. Just got to finish the repairs. Do you really think it's going to be worth all the effort? Uh, yeah. Why are you asking me that? See that big roller door over there? Yeah. It should lead us right back outside. What, right now? Yeah, why not? I don't want to go anywhere until I've gotten a better look inside that thing. Hmm. I really don't know how we're going to get up into it. See that boxcar? Yeah, boxcar. If we could get into that, then up onto its roof, there's like a railing there. A gantry. Yeah, it goes right across to the freight wagon. I am not seeing coming. anything that she's repaired, like she described. And it looks like it could have fall. It does not look secure. I wouldn't be going under it. If you know what I mean. While hoarding RT to repair the generator, skill checks will appear. Okay. So yeah, it's the same. I was ready this time. Fuck. Well, at least I didn't fail. Maybe I should st start playing that by daylight. Hmm? Looks I'm pretty good at it. Cool. Oh yeah, now we're getting somewhere. But where? We don't know. Find a way to the office. Door's locked. Maybe there's another way in there. I don't know. I just see a yellow thing. Oh, I thought I'm gonna go under. For some reason, I thought I'm gonna go just crawl through the um, crawl space, or not through not through the crawl space to the. Can't believe they got me duct. crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Okay, what have we here? We have our collection. So, what do you unlock, little key? 
It unlocks the Frank Stone. Find anything? Yep. It's got a label on it. F Stone. Holy shit. You think? This hm. could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh man. See if the key unlocks the box car. What the fuck is the box car? Something in there. But maybe the key unlocks this. It does not. It's just permanently locked. To infinity and beyond. Looks like it's about to fall apart. Up. Still need to go up. I understand being curious on it. I understand basically everything that the guys are doing, but some self preservation or like, you know, survival instinct. And to just kick Robert in the back. Okay, Robert, your turn. You sure? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Are you really sure you want to do this? Yep. I thought for a second that there would be like, yeah, both of us, on three. On three. One, two, three. Oh, poof, dead. Got you. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks, man. That would not have been a pleasant way to go. I would not have wanted to break it to your dad. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. <laughs> Yo, check it. Wow. Right through the wall. It's a hand. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn. Is... Is that a... Yeah. And it's got friends. <sighs> Play stupid games, win stupid, stupid prizes. What, what were you expecting? Is insane. Must have come loose when the freight broke through. Millwright's Notebook. Cedar Steel Corporation. Machine, shop and repair. Cedar Hill, Origi Oregon. Oregon. Feel every blow. Oh, hmm. people. Parker, D. No, want to get close. Feel every blow. Hear their screams. Kessler, E. This time, make it last. Better control. For the next, small cats clean. Taste their fear. Okay. A creature forged to purge the world. <laughs> well, what a poet. Use what it's, what's at hand. No. Not what I see at night. Inspire terror. Cut plus fix. Hmm. A hatch. This must be how Stone got in and out. Nope, I want to see this first. Callahan son and friend. cops never connected Frank Stone to this. Callahan son and friend murdered Shea Police. 
Monday, September 17, 1962. Following several days of rumors and speculation, Sheriff Lloyd Kusich last night confirmed he is treating the deaths of George Calhern and Joyce Barton at Hawkline Point last Thursday last as night as a double murder. George Calhern, 28, son of Cedar Hill respected drugstore proprietor William Calhern and his friend Joyce Barton died after the, their car, cr car crashed and caught fire. Deputies have been working tirelessly over the weekend and have now determined that Mr. Calhern's car was parked when it left the road, indicating the involvement of third party. Oh, so it was a lady, okay. The news of another murder in our peaceful community represents a shock of for us all, coming so soon in the wake of the July killing of widow Dorothy Clay. But as in the episode where Mrs. Clay's new nephew Elvin was caught and convicted following a rapid investigation by Sheriff Kusich, we must all hope and pray for a swift and just outcome. Okay, so this is one thing. Do we have anything more here? Nope. So let's see what is in the in the big jar. Why? You already saw a hand. Do you want to see something even more gruesome? Oh, fuck! What is it? Oh! Damn! Is it the Joyce? I think she was one of Stone's victims there. Yeah, I think so, genius. I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know? Because they went and just left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? Good this idea. is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. No, you can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is, but this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. But it's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder, which means right now we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? B but the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were... Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We got what we need. Go. What was the point? Just don't touch anything else, okay? In what way we got what we need? We should get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's also it's refer referring the hatch go. from the game. Generator was there. Now it's the hatch. There is the big beast. Like a big spider. Maybe she we should wait outside took it. until Robert comes back. Uh, do you think moving that's such a good idea? No way I'm not getting a shot of this thing. Yeah, but it's like evidence. Nobody can prove we knew that before we got the shot. Plausible deniability, you found man. A hand in a jar. That means. Well, I won't tell if you don't. I think you're missing the point. This is the point. You've been like obsessed with making this movie all about Frank Stone ever since you heard about him. So? So it doesn't feel like it's our movie anymore. It feels like it's your movie. We're making this movie together. It doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. I can't seem to get a second alone with him. Jesus, that was We're a alone, jump yeah. in the mastery. Yeah. And all I can think about is you and Robert. That's what you've been all pissy about? <laughs> you just gotta lighten up a little, dude. Robert's trying to be a good friend to Sorry. both of us. <sighs> Guess. I know tonight didn't go exactly how you wanted it to. We got this thing in the can. That's huge, man. We've just got to finish it up and then pretty soon we'll be back to tearing it up, you know?
Yeah, sure. He would forget. Okay. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that you'll hear me out. Thank you. Yeah. Is Robert then? So, like, should we wait outside? You go. I'll be right there. Promise. Please don't make me jealous of a disembodied hand. <laughs> huh. Is there a reason I should be? You? <laughs> <laughs> Frame rate, please. Camera is a weird relic for a movie. To film huh? something and then make it come back. What? I don't know. We got the technology. We can rebuild him. What is it? Oh, he was standing there. Just close the door, man. Run up to the door and close them. Oh, Amy is dead either way, so. Oh, oh, that was a good way to go. That was impressive. Beyond the gate. I wanted to say that maybe Anything? Amy is uh, the guy going Not around I here, but I think it's gonna be the father. I'm telling you, this door is a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try... this? Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. <laughs> Almost like you knew. But there are two more. What happens if we use them? Hmm. <laughs> 
That's a lot of dollar for an old movie. Lounge Iceland, Auction House, Invoice, Augustin Lieber, Grant Mallard, Lot 106, Description, 8mm Film, Cinema, Cult, Rare, Quantity, 1, Price, 10,000, Total Tax, 2,000, Amount to $12,000. Can I have some some light in here? Movie review Murder Mill. Reviewed at the second Fiendish Desires fan festival by your correspondent Rabbit Hound. At first glance, the only real issue with Murder Mill is that is its unskillful, unskillful composition, the cinematic equivalent of your sister's kids putting on a play for the family before Thanksgiving dinner. The film sadly begins to dissolve into a, a vehicle for the filmmakers try not to scurs to not sc What? The film sadly begins to dissolve into a vehicle for the filmmakers to not scare us, the audience, but instead show us how many other better horror films they've seen. The thing is, these aspects are not unusual in the genre and have more or less become part of part, probably, for the course on the festival circuits. What was unusual, however, what was the oddly unsettling feeling that blanketed the 10 p.m. audience from the first frame, and I honestly cannot explain why. The overall sense of dread that evening was palpable and unlike anything I had experienced before or am keen to experience again. The screening was very mer mercifully cut short, though, as two festival goers began to assault nearby audience members before turning on one another, turning what was a below average movie going experience to, into an absolute pandemonium. This reviewer could not get out of that theater fast enough. I'm not sure if this is a trick or gimmick of some kind of the part of the filmmakers, and I'm not sure how that would ever happen. And but I'd have to imagine anyone with a mind to do something so devious would make a much better film than this. Why are you reading? Like, they write quite a good dialogues and story in general, but the reading in the, <sighs> the Legion, the write, the writing in this, like those clippings and books and notebooks and stuff like that is sometimes so bad. So bad to read, not the bad like on the plot level. Okay, there but I came in here and there is nothing here. What are you looking at? So yeah. The game crushed. And it crushed hard. It took everything with it, basically. Including the OBS. And it took the OBS so hard that I lost some of the recording. Basically, I went up, looked, ev checked everything, and when I was approaching the corner in here, the game crashed. Crashed, and then I just found the key. I found the key. I opened this thing here. It's missing a piece. Now we are looking for a piece. You can see, find a missing piece of the diorama. And I remember seeing a tree. I remember seeing the... Like a hexagonal piece of tree somewhere. So I guess we need to pick it up and bring it in here. This tree. You're coming with me, buddy. It's a lot bigger than I expected. A lot bigger. So, do you want to bet that if we put in the tree, the dude with the hammer will move? Then we will take a hammer and put this hammer into this figurine and something else will happen? Oh, okay. Well... What's this? Some sort of toy hammer. Looks like it should go with something. We didn't took the hammer from the guy. The hammer was in the background all along. One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Okay, time to unlock that gate. 
So I guess this should be a tree because we took it from a tree. Ah, uh, wrong way. Oh my god, it's... Oh, I'm so stupid. The, tr the door for the cylinder are just right next to that. Right next to that. There is no... Ugh. So it's gonna be... Whatever this is. Manor, tree and hammer because they are on the paintings. What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Maybe it's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Or heads and heads and heads. There you are. <laughs> that was not so bad. Ooh. Random pig in the background. Well, you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works. Think you got your wish. Uh, Ray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. Okay. Why are there two cursed flamingos in here? And a pig. It's like a museum for... I have no fucking idea what. Something unearthly for sure. Who? Hey, Linda. Check this out. No, 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 no. First, I'm gonna check this out. For the toy soldier. Okay, maybe not now. Maybe in a second. So everything in here is from Dead by Daylight or something? Because for example this thing is Pazuzu from House this of Ashes. This place is like a film set. It's straight up from House of Ashes, from the Dark Pictures Anthology. Akkadian demon, Mesopotamia, 23rd century before BC. Statue from Akkadian Empire. Cuneiform on fragmentary clay ta tablets discovered nearby suggest it represents a mytholo mythological demon. Worshippers believed it's capable of bestowing supernatural power in exchange for their devotion, protecting them and destroying their enemies. I pressed B to back out. The morning statue. Okay, so there is no. These mean progress. anything to you? Yeah, actually, it's exactly like in my film, the Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb. Oh, yeah, totally. It it is exactly like that. Huh. There is no tomb in the Prophecy of Pain. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, 
I, I was getting into stuff with, with, the, with one of the Come other... Come to think I, of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work? Okay, look... You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... <sighs> kind of guy. A crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barra. My Michael films Bay. examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. <sighs> Let's go mischievous. Why not? Why don't we make it interesting? How so? A little wager. Terms? If I win, you tell me what I want to know. And if I win? I'll... I'll give you my section of the film. Deal. That's official. You can't say that back. Jesus, hot sauce. We're not 12. So for it? Sure. But I get to call it. I call it or no deal. All right. What's it gonna be? Well, technically two third. When you flip a coin, sixty-six percent of the time it lands on tails. So. Tails. Crap. I believe we had a deal. There's not really much to tell. I wanted a bet from a real down on his luck guy. But now he's dead. So. He's not exactly missing it. Who was he? A guy called Robbie G. That's how I knew him. Oh, it's the Robert. Robert Green? Sounds right. He was basically one foot in the grave when I met him. Poor Robert. What happened to him? From what I gathered, it sounded like he had some serious daddy issues. Hmm. Never shut up about how much his dad fucked up his life. Anyways, there you go. So if we figure out if Chris survived, because Linda, this is this is Linda. We know that the Maddie mom survived, so that's two. Now Robert survived, that's three. So if Chris it also survived basically the past in the past we cannot kill anyone else fold of fear justine joffrey in this 1960s in america in it is the 1960s 60s and america is in crisis eager to escape the era's political turbulence a band of idealists start building a new society under the guidance of their new charismatic leader before long, their numbers swell, with hundreds leaving their hardship behind to join the fold. But making a perfect world demands more than affirming mantras and positive mindset. Soon the personal troubles of the flock start to poison their paradise, and then things take a real turn for the worse. Chapter 28 Manifestation Getting back to the settlement would have been easy for a few hours ago, but the starlight was now suffocated, strangled by the storm clouds. Beatrice could neither see nor hear whether she'd been followed. Not with the air so full of driving... Driving rain? Never heard of it. As well as the cackling of crowds cutting across each other quickly enough to sound like mocking laughter. The cacophony never seemed to fade, no matter how much distance she put between herself and the stage. At least she couldn't hear the squelching the slithering, the screaming. Yet still she pushed on through into the roaring darkness. There was no way she could stop. Not now. Not when she had no clue where that thing might be. The thing that Stamper had called conjured, created. Now, uh, not when the memory of its rising from the sludge and ripping Ron apart was still burning bright in her mind. Something smashed against her shoulder, sending 
her spinning, tumbling backwards into stone, sliding down into shallow, sal shallow salt water with a noisy splash. She landed with a painful cry, the sharp metallic taste of blood filled her mouth and she released an awful scream as her nerve began to burn. She tried to force herself back, only t for her bad ankle to buckle, she dropped down with a scream of pain. Beatrice reached for the rocks for support, trying to find purchase, but her grasping fingers met only what felt like sinew and spines and sludge. For all the tears beginning to fill her eyes, she could just about see the dr Drunay's form looming over her, still dripping with the mud it was born from the gore of her friends. The clouds closed above, the rain beginning to drum once more, unknotted appendages in the monster's loathsome form caught the distance, drying half light as its body moved to strike. Whew. Fiction book. Okay, can I talk to you without moving forward? This is moving forward. So this, oh, this is the Frank Stone. Is that dried blood? It's a Frank Stone's helmet. The game looks awesome, but sometimes the character controls like tanks. They take ages to move. I am uh, speaking from the Tradewinds Movie Theater on Texas Avenue, where we have witnessed, are witnessing some sort of protest, or I don't know. Uh, all, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public, as well as police and medical personnel. It's not overly clear, at least to us, what the uh, catalyst for, for the situation was, but I can confirm that it started in the cinema itself, as it has been reported an employee was stomped to death during a showing of Murder Mill. Uh, from here, from here I can see considerable damage done all around us, and police are currently doing their best to control this crowd. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, okay, now, now there is an arrest taking place? And several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god! Okay, okay, that was an explosion. That was an explosion. I, I can't see. I can't, I can't see. Uh, oh my. Oh, the police have now opened fire. It, it now sounds like the police line is just broken. And, uh, Okay, okay, okay. Okay, because the game crashed, I will wrap it up in here before we progress. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!